What's up guys, my name is Joel uh, from GSG Games Since Gaming, coming to you with a playthrough on Until Dawn. Uh, this game is new re newly released, uh, comes out uh, August 25th. Uh, I have been looking forward to this game for quite some time. Uh, I know it was announced on PS3 and I don't know what happened, but it got announced for PS4. Got excited for it again. Uh, I know just a little bit about this game because I try to stay away from any spoilers if it looks like a story orientated game. Um, so with that said, it's a group of college age kids go up to a cabin in the mountains and stay there, I believe for the weekend, or not for the weekend actually, I don't know. But they gotta survive until dawn and there's a serial killer or something like that uh, out there. So pretty crazy um it's pretty much a 80s uh horror movie cliche but i mean that's friggin awesome uh anyhow turn your volume all the way up hopefully you're using a headset uh dim your lights and let me know if you jump because i got nerves of steel all right let's do this Ready? Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did this. Shh, shh, shh. Don't you guys think this is a little bit wrong? Oh, come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, M. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, M. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. It's Hayden. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Hannah, you look so damn hot in that shirt, but I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. <laughs> the setup. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? Ugh. Intervention time. Bros are out.
Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us mm -hmm. all. I got your note. I'm glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. <laughs> oh my god she's taking her shirt off what oh my god <laughs> he's got a camera what are you doing here uh, hannah i'm sorry hannah, hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand, just but... a stupid prank uh oh, damn you guys are jerks you know that hannah he's creeping with the camera oh <laughs> Oh yeah, so I turn on a feature to where I can see what uh, players, what percentage of players selected which option. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine, she just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We were just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Oh, shit! Totem. Uh, black is death. The possible death of a person of the person who finds it. Oh damn. Uh, indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Damn, that was both of them. Uh, well, the events of the past are very clear.
hell are flames <laughs> doing out here? Anna! Anna! Hello? Anna! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Anna? Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes. Sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Uh, that's creepy. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? A scarecrow. Creepy ass. <laughs> there you go. Well, I see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. Huh. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Tell oh, you that you're high. But that's not an answer. Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. 
What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay. Who the hell is this guy? Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein, who is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. Ah! <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! <laughs> Yeah.
Oh man. Get no breaks. What? <sighs> Damn it. <sighs> uh. Bella? You hungry? Huh? Oh. oh. Damn it. Hey, hey, hey. Sorry? It's okay. That's it. Come on. He's trying to get a nut. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Butterfly prophecy. Uh, death black. And brown. So this is uh, those totems and the minions. If it's not white or yellow, then I better freak out. Was that all the way up here. Why would you not snoop? 
Aha! Look who it is. <laughs> he knows it. Chris! He's got a crush on Ashley. It's methodical. You scared me. I, I'm sorry, are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool, well, thanks for letting me know. I, I can take it from here. Oh, so, I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. visit from America's Most Wanted? Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Wanted in the connection with the first degree arson offense as well as various death threats. Ta-da! Pretty rad, right? God, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. He thinks he's like Grizzly Adams or something. Wanna try? Uh, now you go ahead, Grizzly. <laughs> All right, here goes. Gonna shoot stuff. Wow, nice shooting ticks. All right, I'm bad. I'm a badass. He's a dork. I'm gonna go ahead and guess it was a wild case of beginner's luck. Huh? I don't think so, girl. Boom. Well, anybody and their brother could shoot a bottle that big, that close. Oh, can anybody shoot a squirrel? Trying to get a nut? Squirrels are just rats with bushy tails. I cannot believe you just did that. Ah! Oh, oh my god, cut the net! Get it away! Ah! <sighs> Jesus, are, are you okay? This mountain is freaking me out already. Hey, hey, look, our, our cable car is coming. Let's grab our ride. Uh, well, I was gonna say, you don't want to follow Chris, but now I am Chris. Chris seems a little crazy. Definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. Yeah, I swear the moment I got here, it just all came flooding back. Hey, that's weird. Door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked to keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Gentlemen, I thought the car was closer. Guess we gotta wait. 
What a crazy place to set up house. I mean, no matter how rich you are. They're not so rich. Can only bought a mountain. <laughs> A spa or something. Huh? Finally, you coming? I was gonna stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Mm, just like going to the prom. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, get everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I don't know, I've kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Ah, uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay. Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap-snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and became <laughs> friends. To this day. Exciting stuff. Match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. <laughs> Mine balloon. Mike's new girlfriend. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. <gasps> what the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please Dicks. let us out? Pretty please? Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey, Chris. <laughs> I'm just doing like Sam taught me. Other people's private thoughts are my own personal playground. Do not be a jerk. <laughs> my goodness. Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M split were together. Whoa, drama. Not really. Pretty clear cut, actually. M's out, I'm in. Oh. All right, all right. Let's just get up to the lodge already. It's getting tired of all this nature and junk. Uh, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna wait here for a bit. See who else is coming. You mean Mike? What? Uh, I mean, you know. Whoever. Uh-huh. Sam? Oh, did you see this 
spew? I mean, holy cow. Sometimes I forget to just stop and take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge, like, right where the cable car ends? <laughs> My sex. I don't think it would have been, like, as pretty. That's that creeper that had the camera earlier. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. I mean, what do you think? Ah! Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Mike! <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right Dude, there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on! Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being, you always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. Be buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. <laughs> Peace. I think you got the message. It's kinda hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you? Take these the rest of the way. The bags? Yeah, just all the bags. Uh, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. I just really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Dude, she seems hella sketch. All right, fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. Crush on Chris, huh? What we got oh, over here. Hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. <laughs> I knew she was sketchy. Sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Just you. Just Louise, Well, Matt. I did mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Hey, wow. Man, I'm, I'm really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine, it's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. No. Have a look. Um, sure, uh, go, go ahead. Knock yourself out, I guess. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, listen, it's probably nothing. Nothing, you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... damn it. 
Matt. <laughs> um, 24% said to read a book, 76 uh, phone. That's just kind of funny. Shows uh, where our society is at. And I'm going to check the phone too. <laughs> oh, you did not just do that. Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a supple young rebel girl, have but to surrender to the strapping military guard come to take me into custody? Oh, sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> Thing! No crap. Gotta try harder than that, hero. <laughs> Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh, ah. Boom, headshot. Hey! Oh, snap! <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey, Mike! Suck it. Boom, okay. <laughs> no, you got me. Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes doing nothing is you right. You can't hide from me, Michael. I know all of your tricks. Bop. Whoa! Oh. Right. Point to just. And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Done! Done city! So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. <laughs> alright, alright. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. Dude, I like this girl. Wow, save some for later, buddy. Endless reserves. <gasps> we should get up to the lodge. Yeah, it's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Oh, man. Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Somebody's coming. Hello again. And how are we feeling? Hmm? In our last session, we established that you have a fear of things that are dead or undead. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. Uh. That dude looks like Charlie Day.
Who the hell is scared of a cockroach? Clown that looks like that or a regular clown? Ah, that scarecrow really looks creepy. Oh. <gasps> Did I startle you? So sorry. You're doing very well. Don't be nervous. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. This is very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligently. <laughs> Spiders, scarecrows, an awful. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> uh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, I'm afraid once again we're out of time, but promise. We'll talk again very soon. Where'd that painting go that was uh, behind him? Hey Josh, no hot water's kind of major oversight, don't you think? Yeah. Ooh, yeah, you just gotta... Fire up the boiler, it's in the basement.